for everybody in this video we'll move further and we will add player damage script so uh, in last video we will uh, we was facing some problems and uh, I just review the script and uh, there is nothing uh, too much special and everything uh, was right actually and uh, I just move these game objects a little bit and uh, now uh, this is working absolutely fine I just uh, may uh, make this uh, enemy a little bit bigger as well and I think point 0.3 is a better choice and uh, the reason of uh, resizing to detect uh, uh, its colliders in a better way and uh, uh, that's why uh, we are changing so now um, if you see uh, if you test this out then you will see that it's working absolutely fine and our enemy is moving along and if you see uh, if he will move to the end here uh, you can see he will return back towards other side as well okay so when he will strike with our player uh, he will damage as well so if we go here you can see in console that uh, we are not getting actually for certain reason the one side um, we will fix that but the other side you can see that we are damaging absolutely fine okay so yeah so now uh, if for example we want to damage the player and yeah as you can see the uh, this functionality as well if we uh, strike on the top of the enemy you will see he is stunned and our player is pushed upward okay and too much uh, so that is not a good uh, value so what we will do we will just uh, make it uh, uh, smaller a little bit and here you can see we are pushing our player actually upward uh, where it is stop it game object velocity is equal to dot x and actually we are not pushing it here where we are pushing so if we collide on the top hit and if it's not stunt yeah here so if we make it 5f then i think uh, this is a good number so let's test it out so let's see what will happen so if we strike it on the top yeah now it's good and a little bit of push is fine actually okay okay so uh, for some reason he is not pushing the enemy in a right way in which we want so uh, I will just destroy this enemy when we uh, collide with it okay when it will move to stunt mode so that's nice so before that we will create another script and we will fix these issues and uh, we will say damage uh, player damage we can name it player damage and then we will open the script in VU studio code so let's wait for some seconds okay so in the script we will add some more uh, libraries so I am just going to add unit engine dot UI because we will play with UI also we will uh, we need scene management so we will add unit engine dot scene management so for loading scenes here uh, we will define some variables and uh, first variable will be private text and we can name it uh, for example life text okay for the lives and then we will also add another game object which will be our uh, lives counter so 
uh, we can just add a private variable and we can name it int and it will be life count okay like this so now uh, moving further we will create some more variables and uh, that will be pub private actually I will just give it a little bit space and bool and we will name it can damage and we will hold the damage functionality and in, in this script and we will use these uh, damage functions in other scripts okay so that's why we are creating like this our ui and then we will add a public audio source and we will say game over audio like this okay. uh, in awake function we will add life uh, uh, we will instantiate these life texts so for that we will create a wide awake function and here we will say that life text is equal to game object game object sorry capital game object okay so dot find and we will we are finding the game object with the name of live text okay and uh, dot get component and we are getting the component of text here So we are getting the component text from the live text uh, game object, okay? And then uh, what we will do, we will uh, in instantiate the live count, okay? Is equal to and we can assign the initial value uh, lives. So for example, we have three lives. So here we will say live text dot text is equal to we will just uh, add a sign of multiplication and here uh, we will add plus and life uh, count okay like this after that we can uh, add can damage is equal to true so that's nice now in start function we will add time dot time scale is equal to 1f and the reason is that when we will restart our game then uh, the time should be the uh, um, 1f and on the death uh, we will stop the time okay that's why we are using this in start function so game over ui dot set active will be false okay when we start and I, I will show you this and i think before moving further with the script we will create these items so you can understand it in better way so here we will uh, create a ui for uh, game over okay so let's uh, create a panel inside ui panel and we will name it game over panel okay and uh, just focus on this panel and we can just make it uh, smaller and I will just use some sprite for better visuals so here I think we have these buttons and we have these buttons and square and actually textures we have this type of textures and yeah this push block looks good for game over UI uh, anyhow we will also check inside inside where will be our surprise actually uh, yeah gems and we have some boxes here as well so 
you can use this one as well but i think that the sprites inside this texture this is good i think so let's add this on the canvas uh, panel game over panel we'll just add it here and we will definitely make it smaller size okay as per your need we will change the color transparency to 100 maybe or little bit of transparency if you want to add and uh, I want to add it to reddish but you can see when we move to reddish it becomes uh, dark so we will add it the same uh, texture okay same color no problem so here we will add game over text on this panel so for that purpose we can do uh, go to UI text and here we will add it to game over and uh, we will say title and we will add game over text here okay so now uh, we will place it sorry uh, this title we can place it at this point and also we can change the fonts if you want and uh, we don't have any uh, uh, font uh, except Arial so uh, for time I'm just using this Arial font and uh, we can make it 36 a little bit bigger we will just make it overflow also we will make the color to red because it is game over so uh, when you are happy with the result then we can move further and I think this is fine game over and uh, then we can add some buttons for quit or retry the game so for that purpose we can add a button here so I will just uh, move to button and uh, this button we will rename it to retry retry and inside this we will just remove this text for time and for retry button we will go to surprise UI icons game flat I uh, these buttons and I think we will use this bluish button I think that is good yeah that's nice so and we will make it green button okay for retry so let's make it bigger something like this and uh, we will just add it here and and actually in game over uh, we will we can show some scores later on we will do that later on no problem so here uh, we can create a text and we will add this text inside retry and we will make this text retry we will make its font bold make it 24 maybe and uh, we will also change the color to white and we will move it in the middle and now it's look absolutely fine okay retry button uh, we will also create a one more button and for this button i will just uh, change the sprite to blue and uh, for this button we can move towards main menu okay so that's nice and we will just name change the name main menu and we will duplicate this button again and uh, for this sprite we will change its color to red and uh, just select these buttons move them here and for this we can just rename it sorry rename it to a quit okay and the text should be quit as well sorry quit as well okay 
so that is nice. Now you can see a uh, very nice canvas and uh, buttons here and uh, these buttons are clickable and we will add functions on these buttons game over panel. So let us uh, hide this game over panel for time and now we will create our score counter here. So for creating score counter we can just uh, right click here we can just uh, create a panel and I will just rename it to score uh, actually life count count okay and the spelling of life count is uh, should be li like this so we will just make it smaller we will move it to left top maybe okay or when wherever you want and I will just make it like this and uh, we will make it a little bit smaller and then uh, in game view you can see the result as well and this is very small so we will make it bigger and here we will make its color black transparent black and here we will add our text so inside this we will add our text so let's add a text and we will add it in life count and we will make its position zero zero so it will be in the middle of life count so we will select the text and we will add we will rename it exactly what we have written in this object okay so just select it copy and actually we are finding the this object straight forward so this should be the here okay not inside life count counter so i will just remove this we don't need it at all and we will make uh, its color green uh, white and we will make it uh, bold also we will make the size to 36 maybe and we will make it our flow and here we will say multiply by a zero okay like this this is the text so before text we will add icon for the lives so we can add any characters uh, actually I will add the sprite of character okay so we already have yeah so let's add a image here and we can name this image to life icon and for the image we can definitely add our uh, image of player okay so this is not image this is the complete object so I will go to uh, bear adventure sprider or png the guy and for the icons we can add some icon from here so let's add this one okay so it's up to you uh, what you want to add so here let's place it uh, here and uh, then for the text we will move it like this okay and uh, in game view you can see icon and multiply by zero yeah that's fine actually okay so now we have these things and uh, uh, we will just uh, move uh, to the left corner also for the life icon we will move it left top okay so that's nice now uh, moving further we will add uh, some more things in our script and I think the uh, video becomes uh, lengthy so next in next video we will move further.